This is Brookfield Place here in Perth, Western Australia. We call it the BHP building. You've got a skyscraper exactly like it, I'm sure, right near you. This one has 45 floors of office buildings. Just for round numbers today, let's say it's 100 people per floor. That's 5,000 people total for the building. Let's give them an average salary of $100,000 a year. That would be $274 a day if they were working 365 days a year. Multiplied by 5,000 people, that would be $1.37 million a day to run productivity in that building. Let's say they output 750 words each, a page and a half of emails and reports every single day. That's 3.75 million words a day for the entire building. ChatGPT could do the same thing for a fraction of a cent. Multiplied by 5,000 people, you could run that entire building of productivity for $10 a day. The economics of artificial intelligence just in the last few weeks has become very confronting. Absolutely, imagine being able to have a skyscraper of PhD level smarts running 24 seven, 365, for $10 a day. You could run entire countries on it, depending on what you actually asked it to do. And it's very, very capable. I still use this slide in my keynotes this year. You may have seen a different version of it in one of my videos. It's the capabilities of ChatGPT as a standalone model. Here it is. Besides being featured on the cover of Time magazine, the ChatGPT model is able to do some extraordinary things. It's passed a lot of the written examination for the US medical licensing exam. It's also passed a lot of the written subtest components of the bar in some states in the US. It's passed the whole MBA exam at Wharton for the operations management stream. Google gave it an interview and found that it would be a level three software developer. It's passed the CPA written components and it got an IQ of 147, which would put it in the 99.9th percentile of the human population. Of course, it's not human. It's trained with human data and it outperforms humans across the board. But we're talking about something that never sleeps, never answers back, just gives the best of humanity across so many different disciplines and fields. You should be testing this right now. You should be applying it to your daily life whether it's email or writing reports or helping you with social media, it's amazing what it can do. One of the other confronting and jarring parts is that it's not the only model out there. ChatGPT is one of maybe 60 or 70 plus models in the GPT-3 family, keeping in mind that GPT-3 itself is one of 150,000 models, according to Hugging Face right now in March, 2023. Here's just some of the highlights of those models. And it's kind of old. It's been with us for three years since May 2020. There are places around the world that have their own models. Germany has the Luminous model approaching 300 billion parameters. It's about twice as big as GPT-3. China have got Ernie 3.0 Titan, 260 billion parameters, nearly twice as big as GPT-3 as well, driving a lot of their different interactions between users, between users and government. Here's an example from Jesse Jung just today, who's using ChatGPT to play around with developing skyscrapers in a particular platform. This I found really, really interesting. So you can enter whatever you like here via ChatGPT. He's playing around with his own kind of toy model here based on React uh, and another platform. And it's responding to his queries directly in 3D, building what he's asking it to build. Jesse Jung, Ex Google, well, ex a lot of places, a really smart guy, but you don't have to be incredibly smart because ChatGPT will actually help you code as well. He will have this available at jessejung.org. You can see this via his latest Twitter post where he's talking about how you can actually build skyscrapers, which I thought was a kind of cool link to our skyscraper metaphor today, where you really can drive an entire team of productivity for fractions of a cent per day. 
It's an extraordinary time to be alive. You're really sitting in the middle of history. This is the middle of the artificial intelligence revolution. And I think it goes 12 times faster than normal time. They did say the internet was 7x, seven times as fast as normal time. This one, I think, maybe 12 times faster. So a month is the equivalent of a year. And you can see that if you're reading the memo. Have a play with this yourself. ChatGPT is something you should be using daily to help with emails, to help with strange and very unique questions, maybe gift purchasing or helping you create a document. This is what it's for. Bain Consulting know about this. They've just joined up with OpenAI as partners and they're gonna be using this for Coca-Cola to help Coke generate a lot of their content via some of these models, as well as text to image models like Dolly. I've got consultants like Boston Consulting Group and McKinsey and Accenture in the memo. I've got governments in there that are watching very closely for policy examples and even policy changes. I'd love to have you join as well inside the memo. Paid subscribers from nearly every major company on earth. And it's really for you. Artificial intelligence that matters as it happens in plain English. I'm not gonna play a memo trailer today. I think this is just something to sit back and reflect on. If you can recreate an entire skyscraper of 5,000 people for $10 a day, how could you be using this? What does this mean next for the economy? What does this mean for your children? What does this mean for the next five, 10 years of your life? Maybe don't try and guess that far ahead. I couldn't even guess 2033. I can guess that this year and next year are going to be mind blowing. Let's leave some meditation music on for now. I'd love to see you in the memo. See you soon.